All right, I'm back with more Call of Duty Friday, my newest series that I just kind of started last week. So I'm back with more multiplayer vids. So I'm actually going to get a couple matches in, and I'm actually going to put some um, other videos for um, my other continuing on um, with the gameplay multiplayer. Kill confirmed. Uh, like some of my subscribers, right. some of my subscribers and friends from my, um, my PSM friends list and everything on the, uh, the new maps. So I'm still kind of adjusting to those. So. I'll just uh, continue this series, uh, my new, new series, Call of Duty Friday, so, this is game mode is Hardcore Kill Confirmed, I don't really actually play Hardcore before, not really on this game, I actually don't really play it as much, but, but the last time I actually played Hardcore was back when Call of Duty 4 was actually out, and I actually still have a game, but I don't really co go back to the game as much because it's not really the same, and it doesn't have like that Call of Duty 4 feeling anymore because it's kind of it's kind of um, it's ruined. Not only the game is ruined by lots of hackers running around in the lobbies and everything. Sometimes you can't even really get a game mode in when you actually try to go to play and try to find a match. So I might still come on and might I might jump on every now and then and try to see if I can get a couple matches in to um, add just for like videos to add to my little Call of Duty Friday video series. So. Because um, with this series, I'm playing um, different Call of Duty games when jumping online for multiplayer matches. So the thing I hate about what the thing that I really do in just my little method or just like a, a tactic that I use, I don't know if any other uh, anybody else out there actually kind of uses this tactic. This tactic that I actually do, I actually do like when I actually play like hardcore game modes. Um, I actually tend to actually press the start button. To actually Kill look denied. at the radar to Kill know my um, teammates are positioned Kill around denied. the map and around the level because I tend to actually want to actually know where my teammates are positioned so that way I won't actually just kind of run into somebody and just kind of kill someone and then that and this person that I actually end up shooting and turns out to be a teammate or, or just just pretty much uh, someone that's on the um, the same team as me and then the thing that they actually pretty much added to this game was that. A certain amount of team kills that you only can get a certain amount of team kills where um, where you kill a teammate and after that if you kill him another a certain number of times you actually get booted from the game you get kicked out of the game and kicked out of the match for good so um, that's pretty much what I started doing and I got that I just kind of gained that kind of habit where I just kind of start and just kind of know where all my enemies are and, well pretty much my teammates are or positioned on the map so they, that way um, there are certain areas where my teammates are positioned and um, I can actually know where I'm actually gonna go and whether I'm gonna run into them when when I'm gonna run into them and who I'm gonna find first when I actually turn like a corner or when I enter a building or some other certain place in the map I can actually know when I'm actually gonna run into like a teammate instead of just like somebody on another team just like when I just kind of stepped out of the door there I didn't really know. I thought I didn't really see anybody there. As soon as I just kind of kept stepped out the door, I thought that was pretty much safe. So I didn't know. <laughs> so that's just something I really started doing, and I just kind of got that, got in the habit of doing it, just pressing start and just taking a look at my radar to see where my squad members are uh, positioned. So because whenever the, um, I just know that I can just run to those other positions on the map where um, the enemies where you don't actually see a courser on the map located on the radar and I tend to um, kind of think and just kind of I get to thinking that uh, some of the enemies are somewhere around that area of the map where you don't really see any courses so it's kind of lagging here I don't know what's going on it's the lagging it's the connection is kind of terrible right now I don't know what's going on because I know it's kind of like every Friday something that I really notice like every Friday it's like a lot more people online and sometimes like what I know is it's like a a big change in the total number of players uh, around the world that's actually playing the game and that guy was actually just sitting up in the, the house there just waiting for somebody to come that's the one thing I actually hate about hardcore and that's why I barely play play the game on uh, myself now and I just kind of stopped playing it so but uh, anyway what I actually notice is that every Friday is always kind of hectic and some of the numbers actually increase and the numbers kind of really drastically change and pretty much it's just like a lot more people playing the game because 
Friday is just like the day before the weekend and everything. Everybody's out of class and everybody wants to jump on and play video games and they want to they want to play video games and they want to play as much game or uh, much video games as they can because they actually have the weekend to themselves and they're free with activities and everything like that. So I just kind of noticed that every Friday, I don't know if it's uh, the same thing for uh, Xbox 360 users out there, but that's just something I kind of noticed that um, like from the numbers and the number of players that it's always like a big increase in the no total number of players that's playing the game around the world. And that's what I'm, I just kind of think that that may just have something to do with some of these connections. Like this and actually is kind of lagging here. And I don't know what, I thought it was my internet connection. I didn't know what was actually going on because I actually went to kind of look back when I actually had a chance to uh, my little router and see uh, see what the, see what was going on with it and making sure everything was uh, was good so far. So it wasn't my little kind of internet connection. I don't know if it's the, the game itself when it's like too many players playing online. And I just kind of stepped out of there. <laughs> I mean, come on, I got him. Did not his kill before he could get uh, my team members uh, dog tag. So I did not his kill and I got again another dog tag. So that's just something I notice about this game like every Friday. So I don't know if it's gonna happen every time I when I go to when I go to jump online for um my um to continue my series of Call of Duty Friday or not. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Maybe I'll just kind of keep track of like the number of people that's playing but I'm thinking that might have something to do with some of these connections because some of these connections are not just not all that good and I think that guy just saw having to see me first and I didn't really know when he was actually going to come up and he tripped the shot charge there so but he still kind of killed me there I don't know what happened there so I don't know like I'm like as I continue to look at my connection, I'm in a yellow with just three bars. But and sometimes even with the game, like the game won't even say that it's uh, a green connection. And I'll have four bars perfectly. Um, sometimes it'll just have some sudden lag and just kind of jerk a little bit and just kind of uh, slide. I'll kind of slide to the side a little bit, and then sometimes I'll randomly be able to not get through doors and try to progress through the stage when I'm actually trying to move around and I just noticed that guy there before it was too late I didn't really think someone was actually up there camping but he surprised me <laughs> for the wood with a real awakening and just like I was saying some of the connections are dropping as I continue to look and I don't know I'm starting to lag out a little bit and some of my shots aren't really going through and actually connecting and actually registering I got this guy. I was going across. I tried to get him, but he was actually sitting there waiting for me. But this is just like that's the one thing that uh, I really hate about hardcore modes is that the games are really uh, short. Like no matter what game mode you're playing, sometimes if you're playing like hardcore headquarters, maybe you're playing hardcore hardpoint. I don't know if they had that or whatnot because I don't really select the hardcore playlist as much. So. This is pretty much my first time just jumping in with an actual um, live match of actually playing, getting, trying to get a game mode of uh, of a hardcore game mode in the playlist. But the games are really slow, and it's like you'll be there for like the games will end up lasting for like 10 minutes instead of uh, a little bit shorter than that because you know everybody's running around. Some people are just camping and just sitting there trying to get their kill streaks and get their score streaks going and some of the games tend to last like um, very long and sometimes the time will run out and to the point where you don't really know how much time is remaining and you gotta always pre press select and see what the score is because they don't show the scoreboard and stuff like that and you have to kind of you gotta tend to you tend to check every now and then about the, what the score is and how the team is doing and maybe how you're doing in the game so far and not only that but just kind of uh, how much time is remaining what the score is and it's just like it's a slow paced game and I don't really like that and see how the game is kill confirmer actually goes to 100 and the other team the opposing team actually has only 60 and there's barely enough time left remaining on the clock for, uh, for time remaining uh, for the rest of the game it's kind of it's kind of expiring and the game won't actually be able to 
we won't actually, none of the teams won't actually be able to actually, neither my team that's already losing right now, but my other team won't actually be able to get to 100 in time before the clock actually expires. So I don't know for sure. Like most of these hardcore games are slow paced, like it's only six seconds away. Right? So we're down by one. And we tied. Yes. We it's a draw. And I got the last kill too. I tried to I, I killed him but I couldn't get to his dog tag though. Cause we would have probably took an elite if we had like if I had at least a, a spare extra three seconds, I would actually been able to get there. So I have to get the kill. And even though we were losing bad, we kind of bounced back and kind of made a mini comeback there to tie the game. <laughs> Even though I was kind of lagging, but still a pretty good game. <laughs> All right.